Project Phoenix is on fire right now. It's up 16% of the day. It's reinventing the crypto gaming. And I'm bullish on Project Phoenix because it got amazing potential. Now you're looking at this, you're probably thinking, why is this up 16% of the day? But by doing my research, you always do your research here, it's only 448 holders inside this as well. And when I do a little bit more research in here, remember this? The first three games that will be created on this platform will be trading card, NFT trading card game, multiple player online battle arena game, and first person shooter arena style game. More people are starting to understanding about this movement. And let's, let's talk about this a little bit more right now. My name is Adam Shelton and thank you for watching this video today. I'm really bullish on Phoenix mainly because it's a lot of room to grow. And when I look at the chart here, let me move this down for a minute. People are buying and selling and it has to me a low supply in terms of what they're trying to do and their website. It tells a lot of information, the white paper and the tokenomics and the roadmap. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Now, when I go ahead and zoom in, I love to zoom in. Don't you love to zoom in and sometimes zoom out? Because when I'm zooming in, I get a chance to really see what's really going on in terms of doing the research. Now, right now, they're in the audit release by circuit process and they're on their way to 1,000 holders. Now, when I go look at this, it says 448 according to Etherscan. But when I go look over to Dex Tools, it does see it does say 510. So it may be a little bit of um, a difference between one or two, but all you got to understand that Phoenix is going in a positive direction here. Now, when I go look at the price here, it's up 16% of the day and it's gaining some traction here. I always go back and look at the website and finding out, okay, the roadmap, what are they doing right now? Now, the next thing I look to see them doing to have a real effect is gonna probably be right here, integrating the card games, the holders, the AMA, and also the social media in terms of the actually, you know, illustration and marketing, that definitely needs to be there along with the charity. But I'm looking forward on to integrating the card game. And I do think people are starting to recognize the potential of the Project Phoenix. They relaunched and now they're trying to do is, what their, their vision they're trying to do is a launch pad for crypto games with gambling on blockchain, esports, charge grains, trades, and NFT markets. I'm really looking forward to their games right here. NFT trading card. I'm looking forward to that as well and these other two options too. When I look more into this information, the platform will include an entity marketplace where you can buy, sell, trade, store your entity collection. Entities on other platforms such as OpenSea will be easily accessible within this platform. So I'm looking forward to seeing more information of the NFTs, the trading card games, and more things that are coming out of this Phoenix because they have some momentum here and this is one of those projects where I want to get in early. I want to get in early. Well, do your research. It's only 100, it's only 448 holders. This thing will eventually get to a thousand and more than that. And whatever you invest into, it has potential of reaching some positive profit. And oh, by the way, if I go back up here and I go look at their tokenomics, and let me see what they have here. You do get 2% back to you, but I like the fact they have some money to the marketing wallet, core team pool, and also the liquidity here. So this is actually not a bad tokenomic structure. It's an early process. It's good to get in early at projects and then just being patient and waiting to see what happens in the future. My name is Adam Shelton and thank you for watching this video today. I like what they're trying to do. They have a nice vision here. I love their logo in terms of reinventing crypto gaming. Can do your research i have the link in the description and i did a little bit more digging in terms of like a couple of things that they're looking to work on that you need to know don't forget to like comment subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on the next video